my friends it has been a while since I have done the daily vlog thing today we are at the factory uh, we're getting ready to shut down for Chinese New Year so all the workers are gone everything is cleaned up we have inventory ready for next year we are ahead of the game we have cars already loaded to go it's funny because um, like the way my work is, it's all in availability of like ships and shipping containers and stuff like that. So I rarely know what time or what day it is. And the last video I said mid-February for some freaking reason, and it's just now February. The first guy that commented on the video, Jibba Jabba, called me out on it immediately. But that's why sometimes I'm up at three in the morning doing emails. Sometimes we're here at Sunday night at 10 o'clock loading containers on availability. So I rarely pay attention to what day it is, much less what month it is. Like if it's busy and we're behind, I'll be in here for 10 or 14 hours banging cars out. If it's slow, I'm only here for a couple hours paying bills or whatever. So. I don't have a schedule or a day or a time or set days off or anything like that except for Chinese New Year. Everybody freaking closes. But anyway, enough of that nonsense. I wanted to show you guys the Momo cycle because I know a lot of you guys ride and are interested in motorcycles and stuff like that. So here is my Kawasaki Versus 2018. I bought it directly brand new off the showroom floor. It is the first new vehicle I have ever bought in my life. I've got a lot of upgrades on it. I have the factory um, panniers that go on the back, but I only put them on when I'm like traveling, doing long rides. I pack my clothes and stuff in there because they pop right on and off with the key in these little slots right here. So I can just pack my clothes and stuff in and carry them right into the hotel room. Super convenient. Um, I have a lot of aftermarket stuff to, done to this. I have an Akrapovic exhaust, custom exhaust coming for it. It's had an ECU flash on it. So that's gained it about 10 horsepower over stock, which is a lot on a light little 650 like this. I added the tire hugger on the back so it doesn't sling dirt up inside of there. It's got um, the knuckle busters with blinkers and lights inside of them. These are really nice when it's cold here. This is actually an aftermarket shield that I run in the winter to keep some of the cold wind and air and rain off of me. Has the um, accessory bar up here that I put my phone and GPS and whatever on. Aftermarket mirrors. Has a... Um, tank bag that locks into this ring here uh, ECU flash I already said it is a freaking great little bike super comfortable to ride plenty big enough for China I have a um, ZRX 1200R back in the States but that would just be an absolute waste of horsepower here because it's very rare that I have enough clear road that I will open even open this bike up all the way because the way people drive here you never know who's going to come out who's going to switch lanes it's just not safe to be going that fast so my 1200r would just be absolute waste of gas and horsepower here this one has a nice big touring gas tank on it and rides super comfortable oh i also have bar risers on here two inch bar risers so i sit up a little straighter on the bike to make it even more comfortable it also has um dash cam with front and rear cameras so that I can record all the idiocy so when if somebody does pull out in front of me or whatever I have proof for the the authorities because being a foreigner here I will be at a disadvantage no matter how it goes down so yeah there's my bike I absolutely freaking love that bike um, I can get about 250 miles out of a tank so it is freaking great for touring. But what we're gonna do today, because I have the aftermarket, I have the ECU flash done, and I have the aftermarket exhaust coming. So I need to put this aftermarket air filter in there so that it breathes better, which will probably give me another 
Between this and the exhaust, we're probably going to get another five horsepower out of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Which entails taking off these side panels on both sides, removing the seat, removing these side panels, and removing the gas tank because the freaking air filter is underneath the gas tank. So this is going to, it's not hard to do, it's just tedious because there's a lot of freaking bolts you got to remove just to get to that stupid air filter. Anyway, so there's that and let's get busy. Alrighty folks, so there we have it. All that to get to the air filter. The first thing you want to do is stuff a clean rag in your throttle bodies. Make sure nothing, no dirt, no bolts, no nothing falls down inside of there. Then pull your little old air filter out of there. That is a pretty filthy air filter. This is the original one. Let's see how much dust is actually inside of it. Yeah, you see all that dirt coming out of there? That is holding up a whole lot of flow. And you can't see through it. Let's get the aftermarket one. And as you can see, you see all the light shining through there that's what that's what we want we want to be able to see through it that means air can get through this guy here the original one you can't see nothing through there it's so filthy and this one is paper so it's not really reusable where this aftermarket one is a um mesh with a screen on it so next time i can just take this out spray it with some cleaner and blast it off with the air hose and it will be good eh. and then what you want to do is throw it on the floor but anyway i blast it out with the air cleaner and it's good to go you can also see the factory one has like this screen on the back of it that is also going to interrupt some flow So, we pop this little guy in there. Like so. And then we screw everything back together. We reverse the process. Putting it back together is always harder than tearing it apart. Trying to line up all the little rubber dicks and nipples pop them all in their little spot and get all that plastic lined up is always a pain in the butt so get on that and get her reassembled and fired up see what we got all right so now we have the tank on and everything plugged back in and before we put all the plastics back on there we need to fire up the bike and make sure there is no gas leaks or anything stupid happening that's a good sign fired right up let her go for a minute Let's see if we get any drippings underneath because it's impossible to see inside of that 
plastic right there to see the gas line or to see underneath the tank there right there's where it is and I don't feel any moisture these are designed pretty well I'm pretty confident that there's no issue there whatsoever make sure none of the wires are pinched Anything stupid happen before we bolt it down and slice the wire in half. Everything looks good. Sounds good. She seems to be happy. Tuck that little grommet in there where it's supposed to be. Little moisture barrier. I think we're good. Slap the plastics back on her. Nice. filter she is gonna be able to breathe and be happy she's not asthmatic anymore and the bonus to having the aftermarket air filter besides the breathability is that I can now just take that out and clean it instead of having to change it still have to go through the same process but I don't have to buy a new one every time so yeah now that that's done Let's take her for a little ride out to one of my favorite little parks we haven't been to in a while. And I brought a drone with me, of course. So let's go rip around the park for a minute. Hell yeah. What? 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 Well, there we go. Work is all done. Bills are all paid. The shop is closed up for the season. Until the end of Chinese New Year, the motorcycle is as happy as can be. Fucking ripping like a scalded dog, I tell ya. So we are out here at one of my favorite little parks with the trusty QAVR. I don't get out to this spot too often anymore. It is a, it's a cool little spot to fly, nothing too exciting, just a park. And it's quite challenging at this time of year because it's covered with these willow trees and willow scraggle is like impossible to see and it freaking <whistles> makes a big old swaying net around in the breeze. But we're gonna rip a few packs and see how it goes on this beautiful February day. <laughs>
Thinking like a fool, but it's a case of do or die.